Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. We're gonna do a, a replay commentary for Total War Rome 2. And uh, you can see the uh, troop compositions, but I'm going to talk about them once the battle starts using slow motion action so we can go through all the battle actually starts. So let's go ahead and slow mo this crap. Let's go look at my army first. I'm using the army of Carthage for this battle, and for my commander, I went with just your regular general's bodyguard. And remember, this is slow motion, that's why it looks like they're going so freaking slow. Um, I got two units of these mercenary companion cav. They're not companion cav, they're companion cav. And let's go look at my archer and slinger force. So I've got these uh, Cretan archers. I have three of them. They are mercenary Cretan archers. And they also have two units of these mercenary Balearic slingers. But I put all five of my slinger units in the, the front lines here. So we can uh, duel it out with my opponent's missile force, which is inferior to mine. Now as for my, my melee force, the bulk of my melee are these Libyan infantry swordsmen here. And I got five of them. But then I, I got some pretty elite... Well, I have an elite unit over here. Where is that? This unit. This mercenary noble fighter. They are extremely expensive. It's over like 1,200 funds, I think, or something along those lines. Then I got a mercenary Samnite warrior. So that is my army composition. If I miss something, just look at the the army composition listing, and you can see all the uh, troops that I bought. Now, it's going to be a little harder to see the opponent's army of Syracuse, because uh, my opponent, Manzikert, a lot of his troops are hidden in the trees right now, but his general is a Hippias Lancer. You can see him right here. And you can see some of his other troops. He has these uh, Thorax Hoplites. He has four of them. And these Slingers, he has five units of Slingers. That is his Missile Force, just five Slinger units. What do you got over here? He's got a crapload of these Militia Hoplites. He has four of them, and they're not really that great, but they are good for padding numbers, though, if you're looking just for numbers. Get a full stack of troops. He has uh, these Thorio Spears, in which he has two of these guys. Uh, two units of these mercenary Samnite Warriors. So we're both rocking out Samnite Warriors. He has one more than myself, though. And... Trying to find his other troops over here. They're here somewhere. <laughs> uh, but anyways, he does have uh, two squadrons of the uh, Companion Cav. They are Mercenary Companion Cav, just like mine. We're both rocking out two units of Mercenary Companion Cav. They're going to appear here in a second. Because at the start of the battle, I got my general on top of this hill. So that I can overlook my opponent's position. Theoretically, I could have started on this hill. I didn't know what this map was, but when, when the battle started, I decided not to put my troops there. I deployed them off the hill over here. But just for observation purposes, I don't mind putting my general up here. And uh, once he gets up here, he's going to spot those two units of Mercenary Companion Cav. Well, we can... Uh, right, here they are. They're coming up this hill. So... When I spotted them, I decided to take my general off. You know, I saw enough. It was not worth risking my, my general over over that. So I believe that those are all the, the troops here. So let's go ahead and uh, play this in regular time. So I got my mercenary companion cav, companion cav over here. Just trying to get some uh, get some more vision, maybe harass his slingers if I could. When I saw that I couldn't, I just backed off. So I'm going to push forward here and start to uh, duel with his uh, his units. Unfortunately, a lot of my shots aren't going to be very effective here. And it looks like his slingers are going to have an equal... cause an equal amount of pain to my guys as I cause his. Even though my guys are way better than his. Fact is, uh, I wasn't getting the best shots on him. So he's going to scoot his uh, mercenary companions over here, and he's going to threaten my right flank. So in response, I'm going to swing my 
mercenary companion cap over to my to my right flank, all the way from my left. So these guys are going to go all the way to the other side to get a transfer them over here. So he does have a slight elevation, plus these trees are in the way. But yeah, I'm not causing much damage to his slingers, unfortunately. It's all good. So it's going to take a while to get my companion, companion cab over to the side. I just got my general closer to the side too. I wanted my general nearby for the missile duel so that my guys didn't break in morale. Now I put him makes a huge mistake right here. For some reason he's going to peel off this unit here of uh, Thurio Spears. Oh, did I mention those units? He has two of those guys, two Thurio Spears. But he's going to peel them off and try to go after my mercenary Cretans here. So I'm just going to skirmish that one unit here. So he turned this side exposed to my mercenary Cretans here. So from the front, I'm going to shoot him with my uh, my slingers there, my Balerics. And from the flanks, I'm going to shoot him with my Cretan archers. So they're down to, what, 72 men, 71 men from, from 120. Now they're down more than 50%. Look how fast their numbers are going down. They do not last very long in this fight. I'm not sure why he did that. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't necessary to peel off that unit. So now he's going to peel off his general here. And I'm going to scoot my Cretans back a little bit and bring up my Libyan infantry to uh, deter his general from getting a, a simple charge on my Cretans. So then I start to target his general. I think I kill, I kill one of his guys here. Yeah, kill one of them. He goes down right there. So things are going good so far. You know, I wiped out that unit of Thero Spear, so that's one less unit to worry about. And this is the uh, the, the uh, skirmish fight here, and he is winning the skirmish fight. Like, look at his slingers over here. They're only down to 68. This one's 53. I mean, that elevation does help. But I wasn't very happy with that, so I will make the decision to or, uh, order my, you know, my, my main infantry body forward. Not just yet, though. We're going to start the uh, the cav fight over on the right. See, these guys are chilling over here. I'm going to pick a fight with them. We both have equal cav. The same cav. Mine's probably better, though, because I'm sure I could, uh, I could pay them better than my opponent could. But yeah, Syracuse versus Carthage, you know, I thought this was a pretty uh, historical rivalry. These guys had some pretty good historical fights against each other. Alright, so now I'm going to bring up my, my infantry. And at the same time, I'm going to move, move in my cav. To play with his cav. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't see any good things happening if I kept skirmishing with him from this position, so I decided just to order a, a general attack on his position. Also going to send in my cab this way. Now, it's a little, uh, I didn't really want to do this because I had to fight uphill against his guys, and he, he gets a sweet downhill charge. But his general is over on the other side of the map. I figured with my general here, I'll have the morale to help my men out, and also the, the extra amount of horses to attack his guys from the flanks. So, I had that going for me. And in, in this fight, you know, I've got some pretty sweet swordsmen. I've got my, uh, my, my noble, uh, what do you call it? Mercenary noble warriors. Mercenary noble fighter, sorry. I knew they could tear up anything that this, that this guy might throw at me. Almost anything. So these noble fighters went in. They are dicing up this unit of Thorax Hoplites. I've only lost two men in this engagement right here. Elsewhere, my Libyans are pretty are doing pretty well too. They got a sweet charge in on his uh, Helpites, and also on his militia hoplites and thorax hoplites, and I think he has a throw a spear unit back here somewhere. Anyway, uh, he's gonna get his general over here, go around my flank, and I, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. I got my reserve unit of Libyan infantry back here to try to chase off his general if he goes in for a charge on my skirmishers, if it comes to that. But I'm also keeping an eye out on the cab fight over here. And I want to make sure he didn't swing his general over to the side. But I wasn't too worried because look how far his general is. He can still make it there, but that's a really far distance to 
to cover. And it would also make his general very tired if he had to run that far. So anyhow, yeah, as I said, my mercenary noble fires tore right through these uh, thorax hoplites. So I'm going to push these uh, mercenary noble fighters forward. Take out some slingers. And my guys have penetrated the Syracusian positions. And I'm winning the cat fight now. You can see this. This unit of mercenary companion and cab of Syracuse is gone, which means there's one left. And you can see his general is out in the back. He is getting closer to my position here. But anyway, these three units of, what are they? Mercenary, Semnites, Thuria Spears, Senate Warriors, whatever. They did manage to overpower my, my Samnite Warriors on that side. So that frees up three of his units to go after my general and my other cab units. So I want to finish this fight over here before they get there. Try to anyways. But if I pull out too fast, his companion cab gets some pretty good kills on my, my cab. So I didn't want to run away just yet. Getting to use some iron discipline to maintain my close proximity, even though these militia hoplites are coming in and seven at warriors. So now I'm going to pull back now. Now that I see that I took out his cab, time to pull back. I will lose some forces in the, in the process. And what is he doing with this cab? He is kind of lingering back here. For some reason, they, they're now just kind of walking, barely. But with the infantry fight, I am tearing up these guys. I use my noble fighters to outflank his uh, these Thorax hoplites, as you can see how they broke. They were sandwiched between my living infantry and my mercenary nobles. He did manage to beat that unit of Libyan infantry on that side. That's okay, I got more. I got my reserve Libyans here. And I got my noble fighters over here. I got this free unit of Libyan infantry. He's gonna hit the backs of these guys. It'll free up more of my dudes. And I was able to run away from his uh, sword units, obviously with my cav. And I'm gonna send them towards his slingers. Now remember, those are just slingers. They're really low grade, so they, they're not gonna last too long in a stand-up fight with my cav. So I sent my, my general racing forward ahead of the other cav. There's only 14 men in my general unit, but that's fine. As I said, these are really low grade slingers who don't have the morale to stand up to my cav. He is going to try to fight them though. As you can see. But I got more. I got my uh, companion cav coming down who are victorious in their fight. So they're going to come charging in here. Oh man, that was, that was beautiful. So obviously we're going to tear up these slingers over here. So they're starting to break. There's going to be a mass break of these slingers. They don't have the morale to fight my cav here. Uh, by the way, one of these guys will actually survive this fight. They were just broken. I, I wrote them off. It doesn't happen yet, but I don't want to linger here too long. I wanna, okay, here it is. So I will break these guys, but I don't finish them off. No, no, these guys. I break them, but they don't get finished off, they will come back and fight. After this fight, his general did manage to uh, defeat my uh, mercenary Koreans here. But these three units right here beat their Syracusan infantry opposition. And these three guys also beat their opposition too. My noble fighters went down to 71, but look at their experience up to. My mercenary noble fighters killed a lot. You'll see their kill stats at the end of this fight. So I see his general kind of roaming around. I want to take his general out. I'm chasing him with my uh, mercenary Cretans. Just trying to bog them down long enough for whatever unit to help out. But he still has his uh, unit of slingers over there somewhere. They're hidden. And he's got, what, two or three of these uh, units over here too. Yeah, there they are. Those are militia hoplites, mercenary Semnites, and the Rio Spears. Pretty good uh, hodgepodge of different unit types. Kind of like my mercenary army. All right, so here is his general unit, and I was trying to trying to take out his general. You know, I see that I have three really depleted units. I thought I could take his general out, but his general is pretty well up, well off. They're at 46 horses, and that's a Hippias Lancer unit, which are pretty strong. So he's going to uh, start taking out my my commander, who is exhausted already, and my they're dead. And this unit's dead too. And I got this one unit mercenary companion still left. 
But I want to close the distance here. See how his guys are all, you know, clustered right now. I'm gonna get my, 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 my swordsman over here. Keep them clustered and just hack them from behind. I even got my mercenary Cretans coming into fight too. They're out of missiles at this point. Mainly just interested in his general running around. Because they can cause some serious damage like that. But I did pull back my unit of companion cav to uh, prevent that. Like, there's a lot more of them than my Hippias Lancer unit. But all I gotta do is slow his general down long enough for my, for my noble fighters over here to uh, incinerate their opposition. Maybe an infantry coming over here. He's got some slingers coming in to help with the sword fight. But, uh... See his general is down to 29 men. Didn't really kill too many of them with my companion cav. That's unfortunate. So he gets a nice rear charge on my guys. That wasn't a rear charge, sorry. That was more of a flanking, somewhat a flanking charge. All right, more living infantry coming in. These guys stand no chance, these SM Knight warriors, because they're hemmed in from the front for my mercenary noble fighters. You could beat these guys by themselves, but the fact is they got help from these living infantry. All right, so I activate headhunting uh, mode for my ner my noble fighters, and I can try to kill his general if I didn't kill him already. But it was around at this point my opponent said GG. He he didn't give up though. He he said GG though because it didn't look very good for him. Because my guys are all over him. His guys are blinking. I still have my super elite unit of noble fighters. So those guys are breaking over there. He's gonna charge my. Noble Fighters with his commander, Hippias Lancer unit. So you can see his last infantry unit is breaking, and so is his general. So that's going to be the GG to end this game. Definitely a good game. I haven't played this game in forever. So it's good to play again. And uh, manage to uh, to beat or to, to win this fight. This game was never my specialty. I never put too much time into it. Um, but it's pretty damn good. I definitely like Rome 1 better, though. But, yeah, this... Let's look at these kills here. My Noble Fighters, as I said, they killed 250 units. So, uh, I'm glad I paid for this unit. Even though they're expensive, it paid off in the uh, long run. They killed so many of the uh, Syracusian troops. On his side, his Simnet Warriors seem to have killed the most. No, no, sorry, his general killed the most. His general killed 161 of my guys. And those are pretty damn good quality kills, too. Anyways, good game to Manzikert. Hope you enjoyed this uh, battle for Total War Rome 2.